Hi everyone, I'm Mike Staber. This is Mondays with Mike, a weekly video blog where I answer questions for people just like you. Here's the week's question. Dear Mike, I'm in a job where I feel like the things I'm best at don't get appreciated and the menial things that I think a monkey could do, really, that I think a monkey could do seem to be the most focused on, the things I'm asked to do the most are the things I think a monkey could do. How do I let my boss know that I feel stifled and underutilized and I'm starting to get burnt out? Uh, you go to your boss and say, I feel stifled, underutilized, and I'm starting to get burnt out. That's what you do. Um, if you are in a job where you're doing menial tasks, and these tasks are things that other people in your department could be doing, then I think you get to present a plan to your boss and suggest to your boss that, in fact, that's what they ought to do. I mean, excuse me, that that's what your direct reports ought to do, not you. So what that looks like is you just sitting down and having a conversation with your boss and suggesting, here's the projects I'd like to work on, here are the things I'm actually working on, and here, here's how I'm getting the work done. Now, if you are not a leader, okay, if you're just a, a, a person who's an individual contributor, then I think you get to have a, a conversation with your boss, say, I want to do more, I want to do higher level work. The most important thing is that this, these menial things that you think a monkey could do, make sure that you're doing these menial things better than anybody else in your organization. Because that'll prove to everyone around you that you're capable of bringing, others, uh, bringing on other tasks. What I sometimes see is that people don't do the menial task very well because they think it's beneath them or it's not a, something they enjoy doing. And that doesn't breed confidence in anybody above you or around you that you can take on more, uh, shall we say, sophisticated, non-monkey-like tasks. So whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. Number two, make sure that you're having conversations with your boss about the desire to take on more challenging, bigger tasks. If you're a leader, make sure that you delegate the menial tasks to those who are more qualified to do those. And in all cases, um, make sure that you're very focused on what you're best at and um, is your highest gain. And make sure you're in collaboration with your boss on you getting those things done. Okay? Until next week, I'm Mike Saber. Take care.